right, guys. Let me show to you some. This is very important. In the in the compressor, you have one thermal relay, thermal thermal switch, and one relay. This motor is double winding. The electric motor, two windings, like a two phases. One winding for run, and other winding for start. Great. And uh, this is the current, the black current, coming from the computer. When the computer sends the signal, the signal is coming here in one of the terminals. If you see, they have one and output. That, this is a thermal, thermal contactor, thermal switch. This switch is normally closed. This switch is touching, touching the body of the compressor. When the temperature in the, in the housing, in the body of the compressor, pass the limit, the limit of the fabricator, that element open and the current no enter in the relay to start the motor. Look, in normal condition, if I check with the multimeter, with the multimeter, the thermal contactor, if I check the thermal contactor, I am going to check continuity. You remember, PP? I select the function sound, and I am going to check in this moment the temperature is ambient temperature. It's normally closed. Ah, Mr. Lopez, I don't know what happened. The breaker is good, everything is good, and the compressor never start. Wait a moment, one, one moment. Oh, nothing, nothing, no, no continuity. What happened? It's open. The thermal switch is open, it's damaged. No. And I need to replace the thermal switch for a new one. I replace the new one, and the compressor start immediately. Excuse me, in what case is damaged? For what reason? When it's when it's ambient temperature. In some cases, the excessive temperature of the housing uh, open the contactor and never return. Never return to close. It's damaged, you need, you need to replace. You can do with a jumper, you jump it, and immediately the compressor start. No, that, that's clear. Excuse me, one second. Yeah? Um. So this, like when this reach, reaches a certain temperature, this shorts, shorts out, right? No, open. Open? Open. Oh, okay, because it's normally because closed. Because it's normally closed. Okay. And if it's open, the relay don't receive power. Okay. okay. Pay attention to this part. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And this is one of the main reasons why... This is one of the reasons. One of the reasons. One of the reasons. Okay, look, in this, in this relay, the power enter in the middle. But uh, to start the motor is necessary two additional currents. One current from the run capacitor, another from the start capacitor. Look, this capacitor, this capacitor is dual function. They have, they have the middle one, and they have run, and they have a start. Together in one. It's the same if you have two separated capacitors. One for run, another for a start. This is dual purpose, yeah? That's the power right here coming in? Yeah, and this is run and this is a start. Excuse me, uh, this is the neutral and this is run and this is a start. That's okay? Uh, I'm going to explain in detail that capacitor, the procedure to verify the capacitor, and what happens if instead of this, I install two separated. I have both of them to do both of them. Okay, pay attention. Now, the capacitor is saturated and send the current for both, for run and start, okay? When both currents enter here and the current in the middle is good, the compressor start. There are two capacitors, one for run, another for start. At the beginning, both capacitors are saturated, provide power, and the motor start with both of them. Immediately, the motor of the, of the compressor start, the start capacitor have internally a thermal switch and disconnect that capacitor and that motor continue running only with, with one capacitor, the run capacitor. Later in the electrical class, I'm going to explain that. Ah, okay, and right now, the unit is running. The unit is running. The unit will stop only when the thermostat disconnect that power, the main power, with the signal. Yeah, when both temperatures are equal, the, the, the temperature that I wanted and the temperature that I have, when both temperatures are equal, the thermostat send the signal and disconnect, disconnect this power and the unit stop. Is clear, my friends? Yes. Once again, 
I want to check because the, the, the unit never start. I'm going to explain in detail that. Uh, I am going to start the unit, but uh, no start. Okay, number one is this, pay attention. I go to the neutral boost bar, I put voltage here, AC, I go to the neutral, this is neutral, the white one, no? The neutral coming from the short power. That's the neutral. And I check here the hotline coming in. I have power here, 120. But I don't have power here. What is the meaning of that? But, but, thermal switch. Okay, I replace the thermal switch. Right now, I have power here. I have power here. I have power in one of the capacitors, but in the other one, no. Ah, one of the capacitor is damaged. For that reason, the compressor no start. You follow me? Mm -hmm. I have power here, 120. I have power here, 120. Nothing. Oh, yeah, I understand. Let me check the capacitor. I'm going to replace the capacitor. Ready? Okay, this is this, excuse me. In some cases, I have everything good. I have power here, power here, and power in a start and run relay. But the compressor, the compressor, Comes like this. Mm, mm, mm. Try to start and not start. Okay, I I have suspicious that uh, this compressor is damaged. The winding, the winding is damaged. I have two possibilities to verify the condition of the winding. One possibility is with the on meter here. I select ohms, and I am going to verify this reading. Pay attention. This is common. Uh, this is a star, you see the signal S? You see the signal S? A star, you see? Mm. This is a star and this is run. You see the, the, the letter? Uh, excuse me, here, 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 here. Okay, look. Uh, we have a common, a star, and run. You see? Common, a star, and run. Everybody follow me? This is a star, this is run. Okay, pay attention. I am going to disconnect, I am going to disconnect both cables. The one's coming from the capacitor? Yeah, it's coming from the capacitor. I disconnect this and this, and I am going to disconnect this one also. Ready? And I am going to, to take three measurements, three measurements. I am going to verify if the winding of the capacitor, the motor, excuse me, if the winding of the motor of the compressor is good or not. Okay, ohms. And I am going to check the reading in between common and start. 4.9, remember that. In between common and run. Three point four. 3.4. How much is five pi plus 3.4? 8.4. Okay, now the reading between common and run should be around 8.4. Okay, 7.8 is, is pretty close. Ah, okay, this compressor is good. This reading plus this reading is equal to this reading. Ah, that compressor is good. Can you do that again? Excuse me. Sorry. Suppose that you check this reading in between common and star, 4.9 or 5, and the other one, 0. Nothing. Probably the second winding is open. How can I verify that it's open? With? With? The megometer. I am going to connect one terminal of the megometer here and the other one here. Excuse me. One in the housing ground and other here. Pam, 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 pam. Go to infinite, good. And now one in the ground and other in, the, in this one. Pam, 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 go to zero. Finito. The winding is, the compressor is out. You understand? Yep. Yep. This is the professional way to diagnose the compressor. Good, no, Papa? It's great.